In today's video, I'm going to be covering the team standout promo, some things I think you need to take a look at in Mutt right now, and uh, just some cards that I think are going to be put into the game that are really, really good, and just some ideas as far as who to go over, what to, who to prioritize, and all that. So um, be sure to check out this video. If you haven't already subscribed, guys, I post uh, four to five videos a day that are designed to help you get better at Madden 21. My name is Cody, and if you've if you've never seen, I do tips and strategy breakdowns as well, breakdown plays, playbooks, schemes, all that stuff. But I also talk a little bit about Mutt because the competitive gameplay this year is primarily on Mutt head to head. And so, just wanted to talk about this really, really quick. We got a new promo today, and just wanted to talk about some of the cards from my perspective. Got a couple questions on my stream last night about it and just want to cover a couple things for you so if you go to mutthead.com uh, what you'll see here is we've got all of these uh, recent players so I can take a look at these these are the these are the newest players into the game today there's a ton of them um, I mean a ton of them and what's cool about it is they're all 89 overall plus um, and so you've got different power-ups and different things like that but I wanted to talk specifically about a couple of players these are my top five must look at or must add players for for the team standouts and i just wanted to talk specifically about a couple of them the first one um that is in my opinion a must add player on your team or a must consider to add player on your team is the player marcus may let me show you his stats right now um, marcus may comes as an 89 overall he has 90 speed 89 zone coverage 83 man coverage 85 hip power he's currently um i'm not sure exactly what he's gonna go for but i don't think he's gonna go for as much as jamal adams goes for because his hip power isn't as high and he's just not as big of a value um or not as big of a like top level card but man this guy is really really good 90 speed 90 acceleration i want to show you a comparison and i want to compare him to jamal adams and I also want to compare him to uh, Micah Hyde because those are the two, in my opinion, that are uh, very similar. You're going to see he's faster than Jamal Adams. He's 90 speed. Jamal's 89 speed. Um, he has better uh, – let's take a look at his coverage stats too. Um, Jamal's better in every category, okay, but the speed advantage that Marcus May does, he's only better than Jamal – or Jamal's only better than him by one point in zone coverage. So this makes this card actually very, very viable. Uh, in my opinion, Marcus May is a very, very good card, and I just want to encourage you to think about adding him to your team. All right, guys, the next card that we're going to compare to some of the elite top-level cards is the uh, card you guys probably all think – is one of the top top cards in the game right now and that is DK Metcalf I think DK Metcalf is a must add on your team and here's why his frame I mean alone let me go back over here and I want to talk about his he's six foot three okay um, that frame that tall receiver is actually really important for user catching so if you want to user catch with this receiver you can uh, you can certainly do that but here's what's really powerful about this card. He has 92 speed. He's actually faster than Tyron Calico. Uh, I think he might be the fastest receiver in Madden 21 right now. So he's a must add just from speed, top level speed alone. Now, the one issue with DK Metcalf, in my opinion, is his route running. You see, he only has 83 medium route running and only has 86 short route running and 86 deep route running. This is an issue, in my opinion, and also his spectacular catching is not top level, but you can actually put deep um, the go deep chemistry on all your players, and it will help the deep route running. You can chem his deep route running up to over 90, which gets it over the threshold, which makes him a pretty solid card all in all, but this is primarily a card that you're going to use to burn defenses over the top. I love his top end speed. Um, but in my opinion, I'm going to be adding this player to my offense. I think he's phenomenal uh, and a very, very good item. The next player that I want to talk about as far as a must-add player uh, right now is um, – let me hop back over here to this uh, section. The next player I want to talk about as a, uh, as a standout must-add player to your offense right now, I would say, is this, um, this Jerome Baker card. 
Um, now, again, you know, most people don't use linebackers, but this Jerome Baker is really, really solid. You have to have some linebackers on your team. Um, what I like about it is, number one, he's a middle linebacker, but number two, he's got 88 speed. Uh, so he's got type end speed. He's got 92 pursuit, which, in my opinion, that's actually important because pursuit angles are trash. And if you if you have a good pursuit linebacker, this is going to be uh, great. But this is really primarily for, like, the 4-6 bear under defenses. I think Jerome Baker is a must-add just because of his speed, his top-end elite um, speed. In my opinion, this guy's going to be a beast and mutt um, just, just from that perspective uh, alone. So that's my, my third one that I wanted to cover. And then my uh, next one that I wanted to cover as far as team standouts uh, I think this is going to be a good investment card, a card that's going to get some good uh, updates as the year goes on, and that is this Alden Smith card. You see that he's six foot four. Number one, he's a left end. All right, he's a left end that has seventy eight speed. So you can, in theory, put him at nose tackle, which is what I plan to do with him. Put him at nose tackle. He can serve as a really, really good quarterback spy because he's got good speed, but he's also got solid hip power, pursuit. Um, but this is what I really like about it is his pass rush statistics, 90 power move, 88 finesse move. You want both of these to be over 90 for top of the end pass rushers. So as he gets up, get updates throughout the year, this finesse move you'll see continue to rise. So I think this guy is a really, really good investment. And right now he's only 205K on PS4. Um, he's probably, I mean, he is really, really, really good. So to me, this is a really, really good card, really, really good. And I think it's a must add card in my opinion. Um, and then the next player that I wanted to talk about, I don't know if he's out here on Mutthead yet, but it might I might have to head over to the Twitter. Um, but Dominique Rogers Cromartie to me is the top top must add card um, if you're going to. Now you can you can pick up this limited Darren Waller as well, but you see his market is continuing to lower. I think I don't know. I kind of think he's a waste of coins in my opinion. But um, you you could put this William Jackson in that same category. But what I want to do real quick is just sort. Um, I want to sort everybody by speed, and I want to talk about top of the level meta. And I want to shift over for just a second and talk about Dominique Rogers Cromartie. So we're going to sort these by speed, and I want to talk about why. Um, so you got Deion Sanders, right? He's top of the meta. He's he is the best corner in the game still. I mean, he's he's always going to be the best corner. Then you have Denzel Ward. But the issue is if you go down a little bit. You're going to see that Namdi Asamoah is not on this list. In fact, Namdi is kind of back here, honestly. I mean, he's 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 89 speed. In my opinion, that is now with the new with the new latest updates, that speed is obsolete. You've got to move Namdi. I think personally, Namdi becomes obsolete now with this update, and I want to show you why. We're going to jump over to Twitter. I got to show you the stats of this. And hopefully I get the right Twitter account. We're just going to jump over here real quick. Um, and let's see if we can find Madden Ultimate Team on Mutt. And this is the card that I want to show you right here. Um, so Dominique rogers Camardi has 92 speed, 91 man, 89 zone, 91 press. This is the card you need to go after. Here's why. He's got the top of the meta speed. He's got the acceleration. This is the key. Man coverage is over 91. So if you come back over here, you're going to find that Namdi Asamoah, uh, his uh, coverage, let me show you just really, really briefly here. Uh, his coverage is 91. So he has 91 man, 82 zone, 90 press. Literally, DRC beats him in every single category. The only thing that Namdi is better at is he's one inch taller, which to me is not that big of a deal. So if you're playing Mutt and you want to compete in Weekend League, in my opinion, you have to have this card right here. This is a really, really, really important card to pick up. It's not this. It's not the, the team builders or this whatever it's called. It's the 50 this week. But I'm telling you right now, this is a, a critical card to get. Um, it's a must-add card. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. You need to have Dion, Denzel, and DRC as your three man-to-man -man corners. Maybe with um, and then your safeties. This is just my opinion. This is top of the meta. So if you if you want to have you know really invest. I would say you need to have those three, and then honestly, what I would do, and this is just my personal opinion, you could take it or leave it, but I really, really value speed, and this car, this card right here, especially with chemistries, you can get him up to an 80 plus, 
you know, you know, maybe this is just a personal thing for me. I just really believe in speed. Um, and, and I think this card right here, very budget friendly card, it's only 77 K. Um, this, this card right here is, is worth it. Uh, in my opinion, as your fourth slot. I don't know. You know some people say you go Namdi. I would say you go Sean uh, in this position right here. You have Dion, you have uh, DRC, you have Denzel, and then what I would do, honestly, is I would put Sean in the slot or Sneed. Either one of these two cards, and, and probably, honestly, uh, Sean, because his acceleration is a little bit faster um, than Sneed is, but this is going to give you elite speed. And so what's going to happen is you could also go with this William Jackson because with lockdown chemistries, he's going to get kimmed up to over 90-man coverage. So it makes him a little bit better in man-to-man. -man. But, you know, I got to come back and say, you know, the any of these three, in my opinion, are all better than Namdi because the, the, the fact that their speed is so much higher. Three points higher speed is actually a really, really big deal in Madden. And I'm telling you right now, you need to have 90 plus speed on all your corners. Otherwise, you're going to get burned over the top with some of these elite wide receivers. So, you know, I just wanted to talk about this really quickly. What you're noticing here also is there's really not a ton of top of the end cards. This is why DK Metcalf is so important. I'm surprised he's actually only going for 193,000 coins right now, even though he has 92 speed, which is top of the meta speed. So, you know, go ahead, get, get that DK Metcalf calf and then consider getting one of these three corners and that drc to replace the namdi and the marcus peters marcus peters in my opinion you need to get rid of him um he's auctionable at this point um and what that's going to allow is it's going to allow you to have top of the meta speed so you're not going to get burned over the top and yeah you might get on some beat on some cuts but overall i just really i think it's just such a big deal so i want to do a quick video covering this um this is these are some of my takeaways um, with the uh, latest update. I don't know what we're going to get for Legends tomorrow, but this is definitely a big weekend for Mutt. If you're not investing, I would invest heavily in this in this weekend. Um, the one thing about Namdi is he does have top of the meta man coverage, so that is something to kind of consider. But again, with the lockdown chemistries, you can get that. You can get this guy right here who has 91 speed. You can get him up over 90 man coverage, so then you'll have 90 plus man all across your, your defense with that DRC. So Anyways, guys, just wanted to cover this. Got some questions on this. This is what I would do. These are some of the cards that I would focus on this weekend in Madden Ultimate Team. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to get a little bit deeper advice in Madden, maybe you need a scheme, uh, maybe your offense and defense just aren't working for you, I want to encourage you to pick up my Arizona and 46 defense. It's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. You can pick that up in the description of this video. It's um, over 100 pages long, very detailed, um, very deep offense and defensive analysis for you guys. Um, it's really going to help you, in my opinion. So it's a really, really good scheme. But anyways, guys, be sure to jump in the Discord. That's in the description as well. Text me if you have any questions this weekend. I'd love to help you get better at Madden. love to help you share what I know. And I don't know everything, but I know a little bit. And I think we can help each other get better together. That's what the Discord is for. So be sure to join that. And we'll see you tonight on our live stream. Uh, we'll be live streaming Madden 21. Uh, Ultimate Team will be talking a lot about this tonight um, on our live stream from uh, probably about 10 o'clock, maybe even 11. Maybe a little bit later tonight. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the live stream. And uh, we'll see you later.